welcome back to the land of unpopular opinions. Here I am looking like a clown again for your enjoyment alone. So today we will be doing challenge two, which is do I have that other book challenge? And I'm not sure when the first video is going to go up, but this is the second one. So let's hope it's more fun. And if I am correct, it has less questions. <laughs> but if no, this is going to be as nerve wracking as it was last time. So Without further ado, let's just get into it. Does this look better with the belt? It does not, and I know, because it's a terrible dress. So, let's just hurry up. I'm going to try and not do the books that I did last time, so this is more enjoyable, clearly. So, first, fox on the cover. Why well, I have fox. I don't think I have a fox on the cover, but let's check. Fox of all the animals. <laughs> I don't think I do have a fox on the cover. <laughs> Dear Lord, this is this is just impossible. Does this have a fox? No, it doesn't. It has a lizard for whatever reason. So, fox, come on, fox, 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 fox. This could have a fox on it. Probably not, but <laughs> no, it doesn't have a fox. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that I don't have a fox. If, like, a Harry Potter book has a fox in the cover and you tell me, I'm gonna cry. So, yeah, let's move on quickly. Publish the year you were born. <laughs> oh, God. Three or more years down or up allowed. 2001. Let's go. Oh, my God, what books are old? Come on, when were you published? Please give me something good. Yes. Seriously, on the first try, this isn't even fair. With music as a weapon, that's very specific. Do I have anything where music is a weapon? I think I do. I think I do. Hang on. But I'm not sure if this it is this specific book. I know it's anyway. I know it's a series. It's not this specific book, maybe because I've oh my god, because I read it so long ago that I honestly have no idea. So yeah the series. Uh, quick, 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 book with the shapeshifter. I don't want to go with an obvious choice again because I did that so much last time. Shapeshifter, shapeshifter, come on. Is there a shapeshifter? Is there a shapeshifter there? No, there, definitely not. Oh my god, why is this so stressful? Yeah, I guess let's go with this. Alrighty, then we've got Oh my god. <laughs> this is, no. I don't want to cut the clips off. Uh, we've got signed by the author. I don't have that, but I have the closest thing. Which is going to be, I dropped my, anyway, dropped the prop. We've got mostly red cover. I don't want to reach for the same book that I just did, so. Which cover is mostly red? Why am I out of breath? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think this counts as red, so, yep, definitely counts as red. We've got 287 to 306 pages. Are you kidding me? That is so specific. I don't have books that are that short. Let's go. Sorry for cutting you off. <laughs> right, we're still looking for the pages. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Please, please tell me that this is... Please tell me that I'm at least getting closer. Please. How is this so long? I thought it was shorter. I hate this challenge. No. These are so... So close. No, <laughs> clearly not. I am getting stressed. <laughs> Very stressed. Maybe Harry Potter. Please don't let me down. Please. No, these are long. Oh my god. 300 pages. Oh my god, yes. Please, please be very 
Oh my god, it's so close. Hang on. I think we have a winner. 288. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. That's like one page over. MC that wears glasses. I mean, there's an obvious one, but is there one that's not obvious? <laughs> I'm just trying not to be cliche while doing this challenge, and that is giving me problems. Who wears glasses around here? <laughs> Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Does anyone wear glasses around here? Because I don't think so. All I read is fantasy. No one wears glasses in fantasy. Oh my god. Please, 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 please. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Screw it. I'm gonna count this as a book. <sighs> Title the length of my name. So, five letters? Oh my god. Five letters. That oh, I'm not sure if this is more difficult than the six crows one. Five letters. <sighs> I don't think that exists. Is there like no that's longer than five letters? That's six letters. <laughs> At this point I'm just getting stressed out. <laughs> Come on, is there anything that's five letters? Six seven. <laughs> watching me stress myself out completely and do not want me to record any more videos. <laughs> Five letters. That is four. That's definitely more than five. I don't think there's a title with five letters, honestly. I don't think I have it. I don't think I have anything with five letters. I mean, let's just no, that's definitely not five. Definitely. Yeah, I don't have anything with five letters. Let's go. <laughs> Cybercrime or tech as the main plot. Cybercrime. I don't read books like that, but do I have anything that has cybercrime or tech? I don't think I do. I don't read books like that. But, I mean... I don't remember some of these books well enough to say if they have cybercrime or not. Oh my god, this is just more boring than the first one. Do I have anything that's cybercrime? No. Or if I do, I don't remember it. I'm not sure if there's... There's cybercrime in the 39 Clues series, so we're gonna go and say no. Here I am just stressing myself out. God. Oh. A book in another language. Well that's not difficult considering that English isn't my native language but for this one we're gonna look for something that's in my language then I guess. I mean I have both clearly so hang on. I mean this is another language. We could count that. Yeah definitely. So we've got Okay, what else? We've got a book by an Asian author. I have no clue what ethnicity authors are. <laughs> like, not a clue. They could be like black or Chinese without me noticing, so I have no idea. <sighs> Asian author. I don't freaking know. I'm gonna say no to this one because I have honestly no idea. What else do we have? Moon on the cover. I mean, definitely. I definitely have a cover with the moon. Question of which book. Why do and none there we go. There's the moon. Why am I sweating? <laughs> Illustrated kids book. I have many of those, so we're gonna go with a classic. We've got a collection of myths and fairy tales. I do have those, but I'm gonna try and find a collection of fairy tales. 
collection. You know, I just, no, I'm not in the mood. Let's just, oh, here. Collection of fairy tales. It's like staring me in the face and I'm a genius. So we've got that one. Collection, oh, Fantasy Lines Between Races. Isn't that like every book? I think it's probably every single book that I have. Why am I not? Yeah, let's go with this one. Next up, we have narrow front cover, like where the thing is. Yeah, my camera hates me today. The thing where the front cover is shorter than the rest of the book. Now, I'm going to have to dig deep into my crap pile. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to find this right now because it's like literally so far away below buried with all the other crap oh, oh my god there we go got it all right this is too much for me i haven't left my house unless i've had to since like march all right we've got First chapter of the sequel in the book. I. <laughs> Alright. Give me a minute. Yeah, this isn't good. This definitely isn't. The first chapter of the sequel. Damn it. I know Jordan doesn't have that. I don't think Harry Potter has that either. What else? What else? What else? What else? Could have that. I mean, I know. I know one book that has it, but it's, it's sort of cheating because I already used a book from this series. <sighs> I mean, I can't think of anything else right now. Does this one have a chapter? the other book? Hang on. This one doesn't, but I think, I think the first one did. I'm pretty sure the first one did. Yep. Another point for me and another fucking point off for the camera. Kill me now immediately. <laughs> this clip is already long enough as it is. I have like broken spine. This could be any book, I have so many books with broken spines. It is beautiful to me and satisfying and I buy them used and if it's already broken, that's the stuff. So, we have so many with broken spines, but is there one that's like <laughs> very broken? <sighs> no, no, not broken enough. <laughs> Definitely not broken enough. And you know what, let's just Let's go with this one because it arrived like this. Definitely broken. Alrighty. That's it for this portion of collecting the books. Let's actually talk about them. We are back with all the books. I can finally catch my breath. So, do I have that other book challenge? Let's see. Fox on the cover. I didn't find anything for this and I don't think I ever will. So, definitely not. Published the year you were born. This one I actually guessed like immediately. It wasn't the year I was born, but we have Inkheart by Cornelia Funk. And that was published in. Hang on. Where's the original published date? Right, 2004. Or no, 2003. I'm so confused. Hang on. I think 2004. So, I was born in 2001. That's exactly the three year <laughs> range that they have allowed me to use. So, point for me. Next thing we've got, my book stack is gonna fall. We've got, with magic as, uh, with music as the weapon. Now this one, I hate when I have to sneeze and then I don't. It's so annoying, but music as weapons we've got glass sword 
which I think that Julian, if that is Julian Jacos, uses magic. I mean, his voice, magic, singing, as a power. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if I remember correctly, it's definitely music used as a weapon. So, not sure if it's in this book or in another book, but I just grabbed the first one that I could from the series. Julian Jacos, we're gonna go with that. If someone corrects me, I am sorry. And I failed the challenge, so it's fair. And next we've got book with a shapeshifter. Didn't want to go for the obvious ones. So which one did I use for the shapeshifter? <laughs> now I feel sort of stupid. Oh, right. It's like at the bottom of the stack. And unlike last time, I chose to actually now read them out in order. Or at least try to. All right. We've got whew, Earthsea. Or more specifically, we've got Tahanu. I'm not going to spoil, but if you know, you know, there's a shapeshifter. Technically. Sort of. It's like... I mean, I know she is a shapeshifter. Later on. Although I could be wrong again. Now my confidence is waning. But yeah, Tahanu, I think it has a shapeshifter. And I mean... <laughs> I'm stupid. Tahanu? Wizard of Earthsea has a shapeshifter. I mean, Jed transforms into a sparrow. Yeah, okay, definitely. Earthsea, in any case. Then we have the next one, which was signed by the author, and this is the closest I could get to signed by the author, because obviously no one would ever come here for a signing. So we have Towers of Midnight. Why was that set so drowsily? I'm not going to be able to hold this up for long. This is the closest that I get to a signed book, so. Robert Jordan. I mean, I know he didn't sign it. It's technically just printed on all the first editions, but it's the only signed book that I own, so it counts for me. And what do we have next? Signed by the author. That was the mostly red cover. This was kind of an obvious pick, Ruin and Rising. I mean, it's red throughout, so clearly it counts. I could have picked the other edition for this, but this one has more red, and besides, I prefer this edition, so yes, definitely red and gorgeous. I love these covers. If I had them in hardcover, it would be gorgeous. But now that the special editions are coming out next month, I mean, the first one, I hope they do all of them, I'm going to have even prettier editions, so... Yes. Why am I so rambly today? Moving on. We have the challenge that was the challenge that I hated last time. 287 to 306 pages long. And for that, we were on the edge of ruin when I finally found a book that fit, which is, where is it? Damn it, where is it? <laughs> I lost it now. Hang on. It wasn't this one. Yeah. Alright. We have Graveyard Book. Also, now that I'm looking at it, I think the challenge last time was with an award medal. What is that? <laughs> I didn't know that it was on the Graveyard Book. I read it like over a year ago. But yeah definitely has an award medal on it and it is exactly 288 pages long which was like a song to my heart because I was getting very sick of this prompt graveyard book thank you next we have main character that wears glasses and for this one Harry Potter was Harry Potter was kind of an obvious one but I went with which <laughs> because I would argue that all of them are main characters and Tarani clearly wears glasses let me see if you can tell she clearly wears glasses and I'm gonna say that all five of the girls are definitely main characters so yes a very non-conventional answer to this question but here we are and then we do our best to do the one that's the length of my name which is five letters, but we didn't succeed. <laughs> if I find a book, like, immediately after this video ends, I'm going to be very upset. But for now, 
nothing. And then we have Cybercrime or Tech is the main plot, which I do not have. Yeah, I don't read books that have Tech as the plot in general. And then a book in another language. I could have used anything for this because my native language, language is in English, but I used this, which is, I think, the sequel to... Hang on. Right. Sorry. I used Roll Doll. I think this was the sequel to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but it's in Serbian, and my language is in Serbian. It's Croatian, so technically a native language. I mean, a foreign language, though. Debatably so, because I read this as a kid and didn't have any problems with it, but it's the closest that I'm going to get to a foreign language, so didn't want to be stupid and me using just an English book because I don't think I don't even think of English as a foreign language at this point next we have by an Asian author don't have it and if I do I wouldn't know I never know what ethnicity my authors are I honestly as I said before they could be like seriously like from the middle of Africa and black as they can be I wouldn't know they could be American I wouldn't know unless I really made an effort and read about it or if they were really really famous Next we have Moon on the cover, which thankfully Winter of the Witch did. Here is the moon. I'm not going to talk about this too much because I'm shoving it down your throat. Although, yes, read it, please. It's incredible. But there's the moon. And that stack is going to topple any minute now. Next we've got Illustrated Kids book. I used a current favorite, which is The Wizards of Once. The fourth book is coming out, though I'm going to have to wait for the paperback to come out so they can match. But yeah, it's a children's book by Cressida Cowell. She wrote How to Train a Dragon. I love her. I love this. It's incredible, even when you're older. And illustrated, she draws the things herself, so it's definitely incredible. And only a couple more left because I am getting sick of talking so much. When I don't go out, I don't talk this much. Parted. Then we have a collection of myths and fairy tales. I was staring right at this one and I didn't even notice that this is heavy so I'm not going to hold it up for too long. It's Grimm's fairy tales. Look at how pretty it is. It's like tree and stuff but I mean they suck. I hate these fairy tales but it's still a collection of, fair collection of fairy tales so it does count. And for myth I could have used Norse mythology by Neil Gaiman but I feel like everyone uses that, so grim it is, and oh my god, this is heavy. Alrighty, let's just set you down and <laughs> move on. A fantasy alliance between races. I feel like this is every fantasy book ever. There's always races. But for this one, I used The Tower of the Swallow by Andrei Sapkowski, which is book four in the Witcher series. I picked this one in particular because that's a creature on the cover and I love him and they definitely are in an alliance with the main characters multiple of them so I picked this one because creature wise and alliance wise this is my favorite I love this man <laughs> with all my heart so yes if you know you know Almost done. We have a narrow front cover, which means that the cover is a little bit shorter than the rest of the book. I had to pull this out, like, from the depth of hell, because I have, like, a crap shelf in the bottom, like, there, behind the bed that I never reach for, which has books that are just holding on the shelf so it doesn't topple. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm gonna sell them as soon as I can. We've got Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Clearly it has it here, you see, shorter than the thing. I love books like these, actually. I feel like everyone hates them, but I love this design. It's so cool. But, yeah, this book is gorgeous from the outside. Hated whatever the hell anyone thought was a good idea to put in there. And, no, that was just a waste of my time. And 500 pages I should not have read last time I was at the seaside, which was last year. And now I'm just depressing myself, so let's move on. Two more. We have first chapter of the sequel. I had trouble with this because I felt like more books had this than they actually did. But I read this recently and I know that Queen of the Tearling had this because I didn't read it. 
I didn't want to read it because I knew I would have to order the second book and it wouldn't arrive for God knows how long. But yeah, here it is. The thrilling story of Kelsey Glynn and the Tearling Kingdom continues in the invasion of Invasion of the Tearling, and then you have a little bit of book two. So, a win for me. And the last prompt, Broken Spine. Could have picked anything for this. All my paperbacks have a broken spine. I don't consider it a good book unless they do. But I love it when they come pre-broken. That just feels so cozy to me and used and loved, even though I don't necessarily have to love the book. We have The Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch. Haven't even read the second book, but the spine is definitely broken. You don't, you can't tell that it came pre-broken. It's all creased, and I love it because it's thick and it's. See, look, actually, yeah, you can tell it's broken when you see this. I love it. I love the design of this book in general. So let's hope I actually get to it one day. And definitely broken. I mean, Queen of the Tearling is broken as well. All of them are. And that wraps the video. That wraps the second challenge tag. Do I have that other book? And the answer is yes, I do. Mostly I do. And I forgot to time myself, which is sort of cheating in this challenge, but I have no way of correctly timing myself because I'm recording on my phone. So I don't know. I don't think it was that much shorter than the last challenge so a bit less than 20 minutes I think and I hope you enjoyed this was in my opinion a bit more fun than the first one but these are so chaotic I love watching them but I only now realize how tedious it is to actually film them and just like ransack my shelves for things that seem obvious but once you start looking for the books you can't for the love of God find them so I hope you have enjoyed this even a little bit and I will see you in my next video whatever the hell that will be.